first guest of the program tonight uh, is a world famous tattoo artist. Eli, yeah. you have tattoos. Did uh, this guy do any of yours? No, nah, no. Nah, I went to a shop, though. You did? Yeah, some other guy did it. In his shop. Oh, it was in his shop? Yeah. And this guy is world famous. He does rock stars. And yeah. uh, he designed my, the cover of my absolute favorite Red Hot Chili Peppers record, uh, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. Yeah, and he's friends with him, too. And this guy, he traveled the world like pff, a million times. He got like two daughters. He got a gallery in Amsterdam. Right. No. He's the man. He's the man. Now, why, why, do you, why do you like tattoos so much? Because I don't like tattoos personally. Why not? Well, like, I, I, I dated this uh, French girl years ago, and she had a tattoo above her ass of a mermaid. So? And it was, it was poorly done. It was like a really uh, amateur tattoo job. And every time, you know, we'd be doing it doggy style, I'd be going, yeah. <laughs> why? Why have we ruined the beautiful ass here? So, uh, you know, but, but, uh, but Hank, uh, is a, he's a professional, and we're really happy to have him. Please welcome to our program, Mr. Hank Schiffermacher. Look at that ink, brother. I just rem remember me, I, I, two weeks ago, I saw uh, an anti-war demonstration in New York, and this lady walked right in front of it, a big sign, and says, the only bush I trust is my own. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that's as far as our trust goes to. That's hilarious. <laughs> and uh, look, at, look at all the ink you have, man. Is this, um, let me ask you first, how did you get the money to start your very first tattoo shop? Oh, that's, uh, it's been like in 78, and. I think 1978 or 79, and uh, I, I, I had all the tattoo gear already, and uh, we were sort of um, fooling around. The American Navy came into town, and we thought it was a great way to start practicing on... Uh, right, right. So we those guys drink, we man. We fucked up yeah. the whole Navy, and then uh, <laughs> we made a lot of money Did on you it. Did you, like, because the, the, the Navy guys get those, like, big ships or big eagles? Oh, they were getting all kinds of shit in those days. I mean, li later, it was before what they called the piss test. So like la later they had pistols, oh. so they were smoking dope. They were getting stewed, screwed, and tattooed in uh, uh, in Amsterdam the way what a sa sailor supposed why to do. Did, why people joined the navy in the <laughs> yeah, first place? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, listen, Hank, we got to take a break right now, but don't go away, everybody. We can come back uh, later in the program. We have Tara Elders, and uh, Hank has got a surprise from his tattoo museum, a nasty little surprise, and you're gonna love it. We'll be right back. <laughs> And uh, Hank, let me ask you, what is, uh, I guess this is something I've always wanted to ask a tattoo person, what's the worst mistake you ever made? Oh, well, there's a lot of mistakes, but um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a bit dyslective. Oh, Hank, oh, sorry, we get the microphone fell off. So I'm a bit dyslective and I tattooed some... Dyslexic. Yeah, dyslectic. Huh? So I just fucked up a guy's head once and I put mokum, mokum on him instead of mokum. I put one what kind of guy? What kind of guy was this? Uh, it took him a year to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. He came back a year later, so that sort of spells it on out. On his head, he had to, on the back of his head. He was like a skinhead person, and I put mockum instead of mokum on him. Uh, just the double K instead. But that that happens. I mean, like uh, uh, you're human, uh, so you make spelling mistakes. Now, well, if you if you realize that you make them, you can sort of there is a little trick to it. You can you can change. You can take part of the letter out. But if you do not realize you made the mistake. Yeah, there you go. Right, there's no skin type X, right? No, no. <laughs> and uh, you have a tattoo museum. Yeah, I, I heard you, you, you brought a piece from the museum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, uh, you asked me to bring something. So um, one of my favorite pieces is a uh, 1850 lower arm of a Boston whaler. And uh, huh? in, in, in those days, they would find somebody, and he didn't have no identification papers on him, so they would actually put him in his grave, but leave the tattoos. She's not from the museum. She's not from the museum. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. She does have plenty of skin you can work on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
That's wild, from the Boston Whaler days. Yeah, so like this guy, they found him dead in the street, so they kept the tattoos above the earth so they could later maybe identify him. So, oh yeah, that's him. Yeah, he had, a, he had, a, he had a Jesus tattooed on him. You wow. see, here's a big right. sperm Let's whale. to the camera. Yeah. That's a sperm whale. There you go. Impossible to find condoms for sperm whales. We <laughs> 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 got, got a little pot fish in all <laughs> But now, uh... So did, so did he get in, uh, identified? I don't know Eventually. if he got identified. I picked this thing up in London. But it was very common to keep tattoos above the earth and to f try to figure out who the guy was later. Because there was no photography. Okay. So how would they do it with you then? In those days? I think they just <laughs> got to probably pickle me at all, you know? Like just <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, now, but, and, but you've, you've given up tattooing and you're actually committed to painting now. Yeah, I'm painting. And uh, you've been thoughtful enough to, to bring a, a, a mu a, 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 one of your paintings. I, I brought one painting. I was going to bring you one, but like, um, which is... You work in themes and a lot of the paintings I did lately was you always like to have a Dutch saying. Right. So I did a cut with Pere. Which is a, a cunt with pears. Cunt with pears. And cunt with pears means like, I that's a both. load of crap. Yeah, man, all the great. I, I did four of them. I'm working on Dick and Lil Dree beer now. <laughs> so this is a, a classical tattoo team, actually. This is what you call the man's ruin. Right. It's gambling, it's fighting, it's the eight, eight ball, which stands for like uh, an eighth of an ounce. Of, 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 of hard drugs, uh, uh, cocaine or speed. Oh, and I've never heard that expression. <laughs> Not a, and, and then there's, of course, <laughs> the female uh, uh, torch. And, uh, uh, and I put me wife's name in there, mate. So, uh, beautiful. It that. looks like a tattoo piece, actually. There you go. Yeah. And, uh, and, and all, all, your, all of your paintings are of naked women? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I never got to the naked men. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I mean, like, there's a lot of tattoo teams in there, and there's a lot of naked women in yeah. tattooing. The pinups and, uh... Now, you did one of the things, you, you absolutely stole my heart when I heard this information about you, that you let your three-year-old daughter do a tattoo on you. Yeah. You just gave her the machine and just well, said, honey? Mean, there's a little... Oh, the squiggle! Yeah. The little wow. scribble, scriggle, honey, whatever. Oh, that's... She put a little eye in there, it looks like, you remember those bowls you used to have, these, these, these crazy bowls? Yeah. They sort of remind me of those things. Oh, that's adorable. Here's, another, here's one of the portraits of one of the... Oh, that's She's a... sitting right there, but like, she grew oh, a little older. Oh, that's her right there. <laughs> the pink let me, hair. Let me, uh, look at the, let me look at the portrait. The resemblance. Oh, that's adorable. Man, that's a, that's a wonderful portrait. And you're on your father's arm forever. There you go. Do you have any tattoos uh, that you regret? Any of them? No. Uh, I got rid of a few. Did you? I mean, like... Uh, 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 there's one saying in tattoo that says tattoos last longer than romances, so it's wise not to. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I, I blocked out a few ladies here. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's about that's about all. Well, you know, uh, people, uh, you know, uh, tattoos have a negative uh, perception, and you, you seem like such a sweet, nice, well, it, wonderful it, it guy. All, it all depends on your background. I mean, like. Uh, uh, if you are going to school to become a custom uh, uh, agent or to become a policeman, that's where you learn that it's all negative. The guy's tattooed black, right. so he's got to come from jail. And uh, but I think that's pretty much changed through the through through the years. I mean, a lot of things happen. I mean, when you uh, right now you put the MTV channel on and, and all you Everybody's see is tattooed tattooed. Ta tattooed people. Yeah, and, and uh, if you ain't tattooed, it ain't where the uh, fuck they, uh, <laughs> they say. Yeah, it is, it, it, it's, it's incredible how stylish it's become. And uh, we really appreciate you coming on our show and bringing the museum pieces. And, uh, and that's adorable that you got your daughter to do all these tattoos. All right. Her face. Everyone, give Hank Schiffermacher a big round of applause.